I've had this dead 120mm PC fan sitting on my desk for a few weeks now, so why not make something with it? So, what can I do with a dead fan? Put an airplane motor in it, of course. After taking it apart and removing the original motor, I drilled a hole through the center of the blades to fit the shaft of the new motor. I also 3D printed an adapter ring to make the blades fit snugly onto the new motor. When I started putting it back together, I came to my first set of problems. There wasn't a good way to secure the new motor to the frame, and when I put the blades on, I found that with the extra thickness of the new motor, the blades stuck out past the frame of the fan. Here's when this went from a simple Saturday afternoon project to something a little more involved. I modeled the new casing in SketchUp that allows for the extra thickness of the new motor and includes mounting holes. I then imported the model into Cura, sliced it, checked for errors, and printed it at 0.2mm layer height with 15% infill. The print was finished in about 5.5 hours, and it looks great. A normal fan looks so small compared to this. I'll be using this grill to make sure I don't lose any fingers. Now that I have all the parts, it's time to put everything together. Now that everything's up and running, I'll explain how it works. For now I'm controlling the speed with my RC airplane remote. The ESC powers the motors and the receiver, the receiver tells the ESC how fast to run the motor. It's all powered from my 12 volt rechargeable battery. Well now that I have a ridiculously powerful fan, of course I've got to try it on my PC. My CPU is liquid cooled, and since the fan isn't going to be pushing air through the radiator, it won't really affect CPU temperature, so I'm going to focus on graphics card temperatures. I ran Furmark for 15 minutes with my normal fan set up and reached temperatures of 85 degrees. Then I installed the super fan, set it for about 25% and ran Furmark for another 15 minutes. I couldn't put the fan on the inside of my case because it was too thick to fit in the space below my radiator. No problem, it works just fine on the outside. With everything assembled, it's time to see if this super fan can actually cool my graphics card. After 15 minutes with the super fan running, I could hardly believe my eyes temperatures had dropped by 11 degrees. This project definitely turned out a lot better than I had hoped, although there are definitely a few issues. When I tried to push the fan beyond 25%, it started to tear itself apart. And of course, it's loud. Really loud. In fact, I reduced the volume in editing so it wouldn't be too annoying. Here's the unaltered audio. So is this actually useful? No, absolutely not. Unless, of course, you're deaf. But it was definitely a lot of fun to build anyway. I might try making a version 2 that can make it to 100% power. Let me know what you think in the comments. This project only cost about $15, but I did already have the airplane remote. I could have just as easily used an Arduino, which would have brought the total cost to about $20. If for some reason you want to try making this yourself, I'll link the parts in the description. I uploaded the STL file for the 3D printed frame to Thingiverse. That's also linked in the description. 
Sorry for the inconsistent audio, I had to switch mics and software several times. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.